Hi everybody, this is our third and final week of the Frankie's Favorites class. We just got back from the Frankie 95 festival weekend in New York City. We had an amazing time, it was really inspiring, and uh, it was great to be there with Lenny Hoppers from all over the globe. Um, we had a lot of fun teaching this class and preparing for it, and it was really nice to look around the room and see you guys practicing it and having it just as much or more fun than we were having teaching it. So, thanks for that. Okay, so the, the first move that we did in week three uh, was a move that Frankie does all the time in workshops and social dancing, and social dancing as well. Uh, you'll see it on YouTube a lot. Uh, it starts from a tuck turn, okay? So, what we do is one, two, triple, do, do, rock. So instead of doing a second triple step, I do a step step. So I can rock step on the same foot as her right. on, the, on her right feet. Okay? So from here, we go a rock, step, triple, rock, step, triple, rock, triple, rock, triple, swivel, 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 swivel. boom. Okay, so. Uh, Can you talk about how you change your hands when you're performing over to that? Yeah, hand? so when we do this tongue turn, I switch hands on the way over and grab her, her right hand. At the same time, I grab her left shoulder right here. Okay? And then after this, I grab her. Basically, biceps. Her, her biceps right here. This is what, this is what we're, we're turning with. So at the end, when we do the swivel, it's a, a really nice, comfortable place to swivel her from. So we start by swiveling to the right first. We do one, two, three, four, then spin. Right. And then when, when Frankie would do this, he would raise his arms up and just shake <laughs> as she spins, then reconnect. Okay. So, the next one we did was around the world of points. Can't do a Frank's Favorites class without doing around the world exactly. of points. So we did it. Okay. So we have a one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, and a one, three, and a one, three, five, six, seven, and here, and there, and everywhere. Okay? So, uh, what we're doing is up until four, we want to come up and do a, a pop the palm right here. I'm going to keep her on the same spot right here, and as I turn her through, I'm going to turn it and just give her a little bit of an extra turn to go through so all the way around. Twice. And we come in, we point at each other, and we put our opposite foot in. You'll see some places. Other people do it like with this foot, this is wrong. We want to do it with the opposite foot as our pointing finger. So it's my right foot and left hand, Mike's right hand and left foot. Right. So then we're going to put everything back, foot, finger, and eyes are going to go backward, and then they come back in, and we give it a little shake. And maybe a nasty look or something. <laughs> <laughs> And when Mike comes around, um, we talked about this in class, he brings his hand around so that I can see, or this way, so I can see the points coming. It's a definite visual lead, and you can do points without doing around the world. Yeah. Just so long as you make it nice and big, she'll get the idea, right? That's it. All right. Um, next move we did is hopscotch. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> Uh, Frankie used to teach this, and this is, to my knowledge, the only move that he taught that was not led. It was called. Now, I haven't seen him do this in many, many years, but he taught this at the first workshop I took with him in 1998. 1998? Or 99. Um, so, this is, this is basically how it would work. You'd be dancing along with your partner and having a good time, maybe having a little conversation with her or something. And then you would call this move and you would say, hopscotch. Hopscotch. So you, you would actually call it 
before you did it. And if she didn't respond with hopscotch, then yeah. you wouldn't do it. <laughs> also, another important thing is one of you is going to start with a kick, right? So it's going to be the follower that starts with the kick. It's a leader that starts with the kick, and she doesn't really know what's going on. It could be disastrous. But if I miss the kick, uh, it's not so big of a deal. Right. Then you would abort if you don't. If she if she says hopscotch and she doesn't really know what she's doing, then you should probably abort. Okay. okay so footwork. So the footwork uh, is basically like you're playing hopscotch. Okay. You're going to go hop out, then kick, hop out, then a rock step for the guys. For the girls. Um, well, after the rock step, we're going to rock step, kick out, kick with the left foot, and rock step. Okay. So again, it's kick with the right, out, kick with the left, and rock step. That's the first time. And then we switch. Then the second time through for the followers. We're going to go out, kick, out, rock step. Okay, so all together, we'll, we'll try to do this slow. Wait, you need to talk about your second part. Oh, my second part. I go with the kick first. So, okay. again, all together. We have rock, step, boop, 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 rock, step, boop, 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 Okay? So. That's hopscotch. That's hopscotch. The, <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, the last thing we did was a jump in tandem Charleston. And we taught how to get into Charleston, or tandem Charleston. So this is, this is just one of many ways. Uh, this is the way that Frankie taught it in a, in a workshop that I did. It's just really simple, bringing in from a double, a double tuck turn out. Just a rock step with that, um, the handshake position, coming back in, rock stepping on the five. Yeah, so we're in tandem now um, to do the lift. Yeah, one, three, five. Seven and one, two, three, five. Seven and one, three, five. So, girls, you need to make sure that you have locked elbows. We don't normally want to have locked elbows, but for this, we need to. Uh, if you didn't, you wouldn't really get up very far. Or if you just had one locked elbow, you would be tilted. Um, guys. For the guys, when you do this, you want to come down on three so that she has uh, basically the space to prep with those locked elbows, okay? And if she doesn't know what's going on, abort, okay? <laughs> so you can basically just do the lift and go down, or you can do the lift with um, a little bit of a kick. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's so much of a kick, I'm just lifting up my leg as she comes up as well, it's not really like that. Okay, right? Yep. Um, and that's, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for being a part of our Frankie's Favorites class. We raised $380 for to be... Uh, Lindy Hopper's Fund <laughs> of America. For Lindy, Lindy Hopper's Fund of America. Um, so it all went to a great cause. And um, thanks again. Thank you.